Hi, I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. Thank you for tuning into this video. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new content. And go to kinesiologyinstitute.com to learn more about applied kinesiology. So one of the first things we want to do is tune ourselves up. These are techniques I do every day. In fact, I always start my meditations with the thymus thump. That's from Dr. Diamond, John Diamond, who is a psychiatrist, and he studied with Goodhart way back and brought more of the whole psychological kinesiology into AK. So we want to thump right where the second button is. So do this right now. You're going to be practicing right along with me through the whole event today. Breathe deeply, and as you thump on the thymus here, you're activating the life force in your body. In fact, this is a great thing. Whenever you're under stress, thump the thymus. It, it boosts your immune system, and it actually raises your chi, your acupuncture bioelectrical energy flow through your body. So it's a great way to start. Another thing I like to do is touching the umbilicus, which is conception vessel eight, is the actual acupressure point. And it's a point that goes throughout, like energies go throughout the whole body and the biofield that we have, the, our energy field. So it's a grounding point. Now, while we do that, with the other hand, we actually rub on the kidney 27 points. Goodhart called these the switchboard operator of the body. And anytime you're confused, or you can't focus, or you're having challenges reading, you can rub here, and then let's move the eyes. So again, do it along with me. Breathing deeply, moving your eyes back and forth, up and down. This also helps to correct neurological switching, which is overload, like we're getting too much sensory input between maybe emotional stress, um, visual noises, visual stress, um, just overwhelmed and having not enough sleep. So this is a great way to get the body woken up between these two things. So another thing I like to do is the urine rolling technique. It's very simple. We're gonna first start with our neck to one side. So turn one way and then turn the other and see if there's any tension in your neck. And now let's do the urine rolling. That's simply taking the rolled over part of your ear and you're just unrolling it and pulling it out to the side. The ears act as antennae to the acupuncture meridian system. So you can do both at the same time. So when you do this, you're also boosting your chi, your acupuncture meridian energy flow. Great technique to do whenever you're like standing in line. Of course, I, I guess there's more lines now than there were before. I have to stand outside a store to even be able to go in it. If uh, you're standing out there waiting to go in, just unroll your ear, you can thump your thymus, you do a whole lot of techniques here. <laughs> okay, so now after doing that, turn your head again and see if there's greater range of motion. Wow, I'm getting a lot further range of motion. So that's a great little tune-up for you. Relieve neck stress, boost your energy, and it also does this. It helps you process auditory information better. So that's why I like to start with this, so you're able to hear me and process the information better. These are called the thinking caps in educational kinesiology. So teachers love to do these techniques. Now there's another one I like to do. It's called the hookups. Originally, Wayne Cook, and we called it the Cook's hookups. And so how we do that is we take the arms like this, you know, taking the hands and you're going to um, go back, back of the hands, cross over like this, and then you're going to take the hands and curl them under like this. And then we're going to cross the legs. So cross one leg over the other. And you could do this sitting. If you're sitting, you can do the same position. See, I've got one leg crossed over the other here. And breathe deeply. Now, as you breathe in, have the tongue on the roof of your mouth. This connects the central and governing meridians. So breathe in, tongue on the roof of the mouth, and then breathe out through the mouth. Breathing in, 
And we do that for about 60 seconds. Now what this does is it helps the figure eight energy flows through the body, which we cover more in our energy kinesiology course, to balance. And so after 60 seconds of that, uncross the legs. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the fingers like this. This is connecting the right and left sides of the body. And again, breathing deeply. You can do the tongue on the roof of the mouth as you breathe in. Exhale and breathe out. So that those fingers and hands can be just resting in your lap if you're sitting. So it's a great way to get yourself centered. And I do this every day to start my day. Now I also do some alternate nostril breathing. This is a great thing for balancing your neurotransmitters. The, the chemicals that are in the brain that communicate and tell your brain to switch on or to switch off. Okay, so the way we do that is we take the uh, thumb against the nose and we breathe in. So it's simply like this. If you're holding one nostril, I use my thumb to do that. And I go like this. Breathe in the left nostril and hold it as long as comfortable. I pinch the nostrils closed, and now I'm going to breathe out the right nostril. Complete breath out. Breathe in a complete breath in. And hold. Open the left nostril. Breathe out. Count of 12. All the air out, breathe in a count of six. All the air in. And hold. And then exhale, right nostril. All the air out. Breathing in, deep breath. And hold. and then breathe out the left. Now breathe in both nostrils. Let the belly expand as you breathe in. That stimulates the homeostasis and the parasympathetic nervous system. And then exhale, relax, and breathe out. So I do this a little longer each morning, and then I go into my meditation, but I recommend you do this to start your day. Now, another thing holding the breath does is it dilates the capillaries in the brain to increase oxygen flow. So balancing the neurotransmitters is a great thing to do because we have four, we'll talk about them a little later today, that are primary neurotransmitters, dopamine, which is the neurotransmitter that gets you passionate, that drives you to make, amazing things happen. You know, we need our dopamine. It makes us feel good on top of the world. And then we have acetylcholine. Acetylcholine helps you with communication, with memory, having a very sharp mind. And then we have GABA, which is our relaxing neurotransmitter. And it keeps the brain balanced and in rhythm and free from anxiety and just feeling at peace. Now, the first two you want fired up a lot during the day. And then as night comes, you want GABA increasing, so it gets you more towards switching the brain off to sleep well. And then serotonin, which is the other primary neurotransmitter that has you just feeling good and happy and comfortable. That's what our comfort foods, we, we, they tell, tend to stimulate serotonin. However, they can also throw it out of balance. So we're gonna talk about diet in the next session. Okay, so we've got uh, one other thing I like to do to switch on. It's touching the frontal eminences. In fact, this is what I often do when I go to sleep at night. I'll have my hand resting. So if I'm lying down on the mattress, I'll have one hand here when my elbow's resting on the mattress. I'm just lying on my side. And that's how I go to sleep every night. So doing this is great for stimulating oxygen and blood flow, especially into the emotional centers of the brain. 
And we're gonna do some stress release techniques today as well, where you're taking the back of your brain where your like, stored uh, tapes and, and constructs of experience that could be stressful, and we're bringing it into the prefrontal cortex, which is the new association area of the brain, where you can recode it, reframe it, and clear stress on it. So again, just touching very lightly, slightly tugging up, and again, follow along as I'm doing this. I want you all doing it as well, and then just breathing slowly and deeply. Breathing in how you wanna feel. Peaceful, happy, full of gratitude. As you breathe out, let go of any emotions you're wanting to release. Breathe in. Feel good emotions, feel good thoughts. Exhale, release anything you want to be free 